हेलो यूरी वन आई एम सुप्रिया रास्कर असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंजिनियरिंग सायसेस ए आई एस एस एम एस आई ओ आई टी पुने टूडेज माय टॉपिक इज मैट्राइसिस फर्स्ट वी वील सी वॉट इज मीन बाय मैट्राइसिस सो मैट्राइसिस इज अ रेक्टैंगुलर अरेजमेंट ऑफ रोज एंड कॉलम्स देर आर ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ एप्लिकेशन ऑफ मैट्राइसिस बट वी वील सी सम एप्लिकेशन so first application of matrices is matrices is used in storing and transforming the uh, huge amount of data second application of matrices is matrices is used in cryptography to protect our sensitive information uh, like in military in cryptocurrency matrices is used in protect our sensitive information now we will see how to find determinant of matrix if we have a uh, n cross n uh, matrix and their determinant is first element of first row into their uh, minor minus second element of first row into their minor plus third element of first row into their minor minus and so on minus 1 raised to n minus 1 into nth element of first row into their minor so this is the process of how to find determinant of matrix now first we will see now first we will see how to find minor of of an element of determinant of a the minor of an element of determinant of a is a determinant obtained by omitting the row and the column in which element is present means we have to find minor of first element a1 so position of first element a1 is a11 means first row and first column for finding minor of first element a1 we have to delete first row and first column and next we have to take determinant of remaining elements so remaining element are b2 c2 b3 c3 so determinant of so minor of a1 is equal to determinant of b2 c2 b3 c3 next we have to find minor of second element b1 so position of b1 is a12 means first row and second column for finding minor of element b1 we have to delete first row and second column and we have to take determinant of remaining element so remaining elements are a2 c2 a3 c3 so minor of b1 is equal to determinant of a2 c2 a3 c3 so this is the process of how to find minor so we have to find here a determinant of given matrix so given matrix is 3 cross 3 and their elements are first row is 2 3 1 second row is 1 2 3 and third row is minus 1 1 0 so determinant of given matrix is first element of first row 2 into their minor minus second element of first row is 3 into their minor plus third element of first row 1 into their minor first element of 2 of their minor is we have to first delete first row and first column and we have to take determinant of remaining elements remaining elements are 2 3 1 0 so determinant of 2 3 1 0 is 0 minus 3 means minus 3 next we have to find a minor of second element 3 the position of 3 is a1 2 means we have to delete first row and second uh, column and we have to take determinant of remaining elements so remaining elements are 1 3 minus 1 0 determinant of 1 3 minus 1 0 is 0 plus 3 next we have to find a minor of third element 1 the position of 1 is a1 3 means we have to delete first row and third column and we have to take determinant of remaining elements remaining elements are 1 2 minus 1 1 so determinant of 1 2 1 one is 1 plus 2 means 3 so determinant of given matrix a is 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 Minus three into three is minus nine. Plus one into three means minus six minus nine plus three is equal to minus twelve. So this is the process how to find determinant of matrix. Next we have to see cofactor of an element a i j in determinant of a. So cofactor of an element a i j 
in determinant of a is denoted by aij it is a minor of aij associated with proper sign means if we have to find cofactor of first element a11 so cofactor of first element a11 is denoted by capital a11 and their formula is capital a11 is equal to minus 1 raised to 1 plus 1 into m11 m11 is minor of first element a11 so cofactor of first element a11 is equal to capital a11 is equal to minus 1 raised to 1 plus 1 minus 1 raised to 1 plus 1 means minus 1 raised to 2 and minus 1 raised to 2 means 1 into their minor minor means m11 minor means we have to take first row and first column and next we have to take determinant of remaining element so remaining elements are a22 a23 a32 and a33 so cofactor of a11 is equal to determinant of a22 a23 a32 a33 so this is the process how to find cofactor of given elements next adjoint of a matrix so adjoint of a square matrix a is the transpose of the matrix formed by the cofactor of the element of the given matrix a for adjoint of matrix first we have to find cofactor of given matrix next we have to take uh, cofactor of first row of element in column next cofactor of second row of element in second column next cofactor of third row of element in third column here uh, first row is 1 2 3 and their cofactor are cofactor of 1 is 19 is already given in the screen next cofactor of 2 is minus 12 next cofactor of 3 is 4 in adjoint of a so cofactor of first row we have written in first column 19 minus 12 4 next second row is 0 minus 1 minus 3 so their cofactor are 23 minus 16 3 so second row of cofactor we have written in second column 23 minus 16 and 3 and third row of given matrix is 4 5 minus 4 and their cofactor are minus 3 3 1 and we have written in third row of cofactor in third column minus 3 3 1 so this is the process how to find adjoint of matrix next note for a square matrix a if determinant of a is equal to 0 then a is called a singular matrix if determinant of a is not equal to 0 then a is called a non singular matrix next point is inverse of a if a is a square matrix and determinant of a is not equal to 0 that is a is non singular matrix then a inverse is equal to 1 upon adjoint of a 1 upon determinant of a into adjoint of a for finding inverse of matrix first we have to ensure that given matrix is singular or non singular if given matrix is singular then their inverse is not exist and given matrix is non singular then their inverse is exist thank you